Hey guys, we're back with the King Baboons tonight and uh, we're gonna try our second attempt at a breed. Um, we did one successful breed with them, um, but the dude lost his leg and we didn't even get it on film. So I'm not positive that this female is mature. We're hoping at the very least that this is going to uh, bring on a shed and she'll mature. But uh, we got some really great, well, we almost got some really great footage last time. It was awesome. So uh, we're gonna try this again. I hope my male survives. And uh, so let's get to it. So I've got my male in here. i try first to remove this lid. And there's his leg there. Poor guy. So this is an aggressive species. So I am doing this with caution. All right, I need to try and find out where she's at. So. Alrighty, so we've got the female here in the larger tank and the male here in the smaller tank. So, my first order of business is to get them near each other. Now, just to bring you guys up to speed, before the first breed, I had shark tanked this male for 24 hours. And uh, that obviously was effective because they hemmed and hawed around for a few minutes. And then, uh, oh, I know, I know. I'm big and scary. I know it. Um, but then they bred. And so I'm really hoping to get them to uh, breed again and that he will live and that she will drop an egg sack and that you guys get to watch the whole thing so come on little fella he's not really sure what I want him to do kind of coaxing him along here so um, for anybody that's not familiar the scientific name of this species is Pelinobius muticus formerly known as Cythr Cytherichius crochei. They are found in most of East Africa, especially Kenya, Tanzania, and Uganda. This spider grows to about eight inches in leg span and is a very slow growing species. Uh, I had a sling at one time that grew from only one to two inches in four years. And in that time it shed um, only, I think three times. And even though it was well fed. So you can see this spider is a kind of a rusty brown to orange color. They are a burrowing species. Uh, they've got these uh, thick back legs for digging. However, the males have these little skinny legs and were actually originally described as a separate species. But then as they studied further, realized that the males, uh, you know, just have much thinner legs than the females. So, um... This species does have a pretty strong venom, although no tarantula bite is deadly to humans. This is a bad one. Okay, so I don't know if he realizes she's on the other side of that or not, but looks like he's thinking about going in there. Yeah, probably not smart. Let's go over the top here, buddy. So I'm just going to try to move this along okay I don't know if you can see she's got some pretty fierce fangs there and she's actually in a good position except that I don't know if where she's at if he's gonna be able to reach his pedipalps down in there so I'm just going to I'm hovering right above here because I really don't want her to kill him but uh, this is kind of the moment of truth here. We'll see. We'll see what happens. It's a little uneasy. I would be. She just ripped one of his legs off the other night. Um, so, as I said, this is a burrowing spider. And they actually put silk all around their, the, burrow, the entrance of their burrows to detect vibrations. Like all old world spiders, the king baboon has no, have no urticating hairs but they still are quite aggressive. When provoked, they usually rear up and strike down repeatedly. 
Uh, also, one thing I like about these tarantulas is that they stridulate. It actually, uh, they make a hissing noise with their legs and it's just cool. So, um, if the, if they do mate, if our female is mature, she should produce an egg sac after about um, four to eight weeks, five to eight weeks. She will store the egg sac in a web hammock where the eggs will incubate and then hatch five to eight weeks later. So, pretty exciting. I, I'm not sure if we're going to get a breed here or not. So, in light of the fact that this guy already performed very well for us the other night, I regret that we weren't able to film it, but uh, I think we're going to let him off the hook this time. She's pretty much not giving him the go-ahead, and he's a little bit freaked out, which I don't blame him. So, I think I'll go ahead and put him back in his tank and call it a day. Got my net between these two here. Oh. I know, you can see her striking and striking away. So she's quite the mean little girl. Well, now that she's moved, I'm going to see if there's any way he can get in there. If he's not going to go for it, I'm not going to force him. I'm just giving him the opportunity. Mm, he doesn't really seem down. Okay. All right, so anyway, that was the King Baboon Tarantula. It's my nasty little girl there. And I don't know if you can hear this or not. He's actually stridulating right now. Let's see if I can provoke him a little bit. Oh, wow, she is sinking her fangs into that net. And I don't think you guys can hear it, but they're both stridulating. All right, I'm gonna keep them separated because she is certifiably pissed now. But anyway, that was the King Baboons. I hope you enjoyed and we'll see you guys next time.